President Trump said the designation of North Korea as a sponsor of terrorism was long overdue. Should have happened a long time ago. Should have happened years ago. In addition to threatening the world by nuclear devastation, North Korea has repeatedly supported acts of international terrorism, including assassinations on foreign soil. However, this announcement wasn't a certainty. Some officials at the State Department were reported to have argued that North Korea did not meet the legal definition of a state sponsor of terrorism. Two cases have been cited during the deliberations, the killing of Kim Jong-un's half-brother at a Malaysian airport and the treatment of American student Otto Warmbier, who died of his injuries after being released from North Korean custody. Neither represent terrorism, they argued. Nonetheless, more sanctions will now be announced by the Treasury Department, though it's unclear this will prove to be anything more than a symbolic measure, given all of the sanctions that have already been levied against Pyongyang, something the Secretary of State alluded to. I don't want to suggest to you that the designation is suddenly going to put a whole new layer of, of sanctions on them, because again, I think we already have North Korea so heavily sanctioned in so many ways with the UN uh, resolutions that have been undertaken. But this will close a few additional loopholes off. Analysts are attempting to discern a comprehensive strategy for North Korea from the Trump administration. I, I think it's disappointing. Trump came to Washington as an outsider, and I really thought that maybe there was some chance that he could have a policy towards North Korea that would be different and more creative than the ones that the inside the Beltway crowd have been uh, implementing. The North Koreans have said they would end their nuclear tests and resume negotiations if the U.S. ended its military exercises with South Korea. The U.S. has ruled that out. So in the meantime, the administration is once again relying on sanctions and harsh rhetoric. Shia Bertansi, Al Jazeera, Washington.